My name is Mayar Mina, um, and my journey at uh, CMC started uh, March 2021 when I came to see Dr. Elias, who came in very highly recommended for a very tough and complicated pregnancy. Dr. Elias was amazing all throughout it. Uh, we felt his support not only as a doctor, but also as a friend. Until August 24th, um, 2021, I came into CMC to the emergency room um, with a placenta abruption. And at that stage, right there and then, at four o'clock in the morning, Dr. Elias came to care for us and to support us. And I understood at that time that it was a dangerous situation that I was in and that I needed to give birth at only 25 weeks pregnant. At that stage, I didn't know what it meant to have a 25 weeker. And I didn't know anyone who had um, an extreme micro preemie before. So I didn't know what to expect. I had no idea how this was all going to unfold. So of course, anxiety and fear had consumed me and it was very doom and gloom for me in that birthing room until Dr. Ulfa came in and gave me so much comfort and assurance um, that everything was going to be okay and that um, this isn't as scary as it seems. So I gave birth to Michael, August 24th. Um, and it was a combination of the happiest day of my life and the scariest day of my life. Of course, Michael had to move to the NICU department immediately. And it was there that I realized I don't know what to expect with this journey. I don't know if my son is going to be okay or not. And it was very, very tough to say the least. All throughout it, I remember um, Dr. Ulfa was teaching us about every single thing in the NICU. We became very aware, we understood everything in the monitors, and uh, I've never seen such care in my life. The nurses and Dr. Ulfa treated Michael like their own. Um, there was a time where, I'll never forget it, Dr. Ulfa was in the hospital for more than 72 hours, just caring for Michael, sitting at the nursing station. And at that point, I knew that Michael was in very safe hands. Um, the nurses treated, them, treated him like, his, like their own. Um, every time we would walk into the NICU, they were talking to him or they were carrying him. The NICU was a very tough place for me as a mother of a premature child, especially at 25 weeks. Um, there were days where I just broke down crying there, but it was also a place where I celebrated very important milestones. Milestones such as Michael coming off the oxygen ventilator, milestones such as him coming out of the incubator into the cot. And the biggest milestone of all is when uh, Michael was transferred with me into a pediatric room. Looking back, it wasn't as scary as what I thought it would be. Um, the care was unbelievable. Uh, it was always reassuring. Every time I left the NICU, I felt reassured. Even though Michael was small and he looked frail and fragile, but I always felt leaving the NICU that he was going to be okay in the care of Dr. Ulfa, Dr. Ziad, and, and the wonderful team of nurses that they had. I am a very proud mother of two premature babies. Um, my first son was also born premature, but at 32 weeks and the journey with Michael is uncomparable to my first son. Um, but all I can say wholeheartedly is that if any mother out there is pregnant with a chance of giving um, preterm birth, CMC is the place to be. Your child will be in the safest of hands. Uh, the care here is honestly unbelievable. Where Throughout my entire journey, I always used to tell my husband that, is our son going to make it? And every day I was reassured by the doctors and by the nurses that he will be okay and I will eventually bring him home. And I did. All I know is that the doctors here at CMC are the real life superheroes because they certainly saved my life and they certainly saved Michael's life. Um, and Michael is an extremely happy, and healthy baby right now. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm uh, the father of two boys, two of them born prematurely, but 
We have one son that was born extremely premature at 25 weeks in Clemenceau Medical Center. And we've been in Dubai for a very long time, but we've really been lucky to have an institution like CMC in Dubai because of its doctors, because of its staff, and because of its nurses. My son was born uh, with a very heavy weight on myself and my wife. We didn't know what the outcome could be. We had never heard of a 25-week-old baby being born and developing in a normal way or developing in a way that would match all the other babies born at term. I remember very vividly Dr. Ulfa um, really radiating positivity on the day, on a day that was extremely, extremely dark for myself and my wife, the mother of Michael. And she was extremely positive. And throughout Michael's time in the NICU department, in the neonatal intensive care, um, Dr. Ulfa stayed extremely positive, extremely supportive, and the nurses that were taking care of Michael put their heart and soul into making Michael better. This could have been a lot more tragic, but I'm talking to you now from a place of positivity, from a place of thankfulness, and we're now in a stage where Michael is developing thanks to the help of the staff, the doctors, the nurses, everybody in CMC, as if he were born at term, as if he was born as a normal baby, a normal birth. So we can't help but have a lot of joy, a lot of gratitude to CMC, to the staff, to the doctors. Dr. Olfa and the nurses pulled off a miracle. Dr. Ziad, who in Dr. Olfa's absence was extremely, extremely invested both emotionally and professionally. Um, Dr. Elias, who literally saved my son and my wife on that day when, when she was giving birth. All the nurses, too countless to name, but each of them had a very solid impact on the progression and eventually Michael getting out of the hospital in, uh, you know, in, in full health, including as well, so, the surgical team that operated on Michael before he was released, Dr. Antoine specifically, who was extremely, extremely um, involved in Michael's case, and Dr. Hassan, who to this day monitors uh, Michael's eyesight and has, been, has become really a support in this family that we call CMC now. So we're extremely lucky to have that family by our side and we can't recommend enough the care and the support that CMC can provide any parent or any patient or any child. And my heartfelt thanks goes to everyone at CMC. My name is Dr. Olfa Kubar. I'm a consultant neonatologist. I'm head of the department of the newborn intensive care unit, what we call NICU. So I was called to meet um, the parents of uh, baby Michael before delivery. It was a very stressful uh, situation for them, of course. But uh, my role as neonatologist is to talk to them, to try to explain the situation as much as I can, and explain the different steps, what will happen immediately once the baby is um, born, uh, the transfer to NICU, and what will happen in the next few hours or days. Of course, we'll be updating them every day, sometimes even every hour, according to the progress of the um, situation. So uh, it wasn't uh, easy for the parents. It's always a difficult situation, but our role as doctors, with the help of the nurses and midwives is to support the, the parents every day. Here at CMC Dubai, we are offering uh, what we call the family-centered care. Uh, so we are encouraging parents to be um, uh, present in the unit as long as they want. We don't have visiting hours. Uh, we b believe that their role is a principle in the outcome uh, of their baby. And this is what happened with the baby Michael. The parents uh, were coming every day, spending lo long hours in the unit, doing skin-to-skin -skin contact, sometimes with the father, sometimes with the mother, encouraging the mother to pump her milk and giving her all the 
uh, physical and psychological support uh, day by day. So when babies are born uh, extreme preterms, um, they are maybe only 500 grams uh, and uh, started from 24, 25 weeks. So they will spend maybe four months in the hospital. So it's a long, tough journey and we are trying our best to make it uh, easier. We are very proud of baby Michael and his parents and all the family. Uh, we are very uh, happy uh, of this uh, amazing outcome. He was uh, discharged um, uh, in a very good condition with no uh, complications, uh, no uh, comorbidities. Uh, we, I continue to follow him in the outpatient clinic. Um, coming for regular checkup, for vaccines, for the ophthalmology uh, follow-up. And um, thanks God, he's doing very well and uh, I'm very proud of him.